Hi, this is Yorick with Crypto Manufaktur. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly spin up an operator on Blox's SSV testnet, the incentivized Primus testnet, uh, using a Docker. So let's get right into it. Here at SSV Network, you can see you can go join the testnet. And that's going to be a validator. So we go back here. We want to join as an operator. But first, we need to actually have one. So let's take a look at fdocker at fdocker.net. Go to support, run a blocks SSV node. I'm going to do this on an inexpensive VPS. You could also absolutely do this at home. The VPS provider I'm using is NetCup. Uh, other people are using Contabo. I actually have one up on Contabo NVMe as well. Either one should work. Um, just a warning that Contabo SSD is not quite fast enough. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, set up prerequisites. We need Docker Compose. Let's just copy this here and paste it in. That grabs that and installs it. In my case, it's of course already installed. Um, make the user part of the Docker group. This is optional but useful. Main set don't need sudo to run these commands. So my user is called Ubuntu. In my case, it should actually say I'm already doesn't. Okay, and then new group Docker. So that this takes effect. All right, great. And now what this actually means is I can go and do sing things like um, Docker LS, right, without a sudo. Uh, sorry, Docker PS without a sudo, and I'll see my stuff running. Then I need the tool itself. I'm going to clone that into SSV node and change into that directory. Just copy and paste. And now I'm in SSV node, and now all I need to do is run fd config. This will configure it. We're going to be on Prater since the testnet is there. We want a blocks SSV node. Um, now I get to choose my clients, right? Uh, let's do Teku. And let's do. Why not? Let's do Nethermind. Do I want to use a fallback execution client? I may as well. Uh, this will be an Infura. So I'll show that to you in just a minute. Okay, so here I'm at Infura. I'm going to create myself two projects. One is an Ethereum project. I'm going to call this, uh, say, SSV Demo. And that's good. And the endpoint I want here is Gurley. And we'll say yes, fallback execution client, and just paste that in here. I do want to use Grafana dashboards for sure. And Teco Rapid Sync, yes, uh, that will checkpoint sync in minutes. So again, I need a project here. I'm going to go in, create new project. In this case, it will be an ETH2 project, and I will again call it SSV Demo and create it. And I don't want mainnet, I want Prater. So copy this. And again, paste it in here with right click and hit OK. All right, this is now configured. Um, now, what do I need to do next? So that was my SD config, Docker Compose run SSV generate keys. So I'm going to generate the keys now for this SSV node. And you can see it is, I will pull the SSV node software. And here we go. So now we have two keys. We have the public key, this PK here. This is what we will need in order to register the node. And we got the secret key here. Um, that is what we will need in order to start the node. Now I will register this node, but I will then also abandon it. So don't get too excited about seeing a secret key. So for my purposes here, I'm just going to stick them into Notepad. But uh, you do um, want this securely recorded somewhere. Uh, maybe that's a, 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 a um, encrypted password keeper or something like that. So for the secret key, what I want is all of this um, without the quotes. 
So no quotes, just the secret key itself. Right click to copy. Let's take a quick look. I'm supposed to copy blocks SSV config SAML at a sample to blocks SSV config YAML. Actually, I'm just going to copy paste and then copy the key again. So copy that and then like that. And then I'm going to grab myself the key. I'm going to use nano to edit, which is a text editor, to edit this config file, config.yaml. And you can see here operator private key and my private key. So I'll go in there, paste that. Okay, that's great. And now I can just save it. Uh, a couple other things that you can set in here. If um, these ports are already used in your system or you want them different, you can change them here. These need to be open to internet, forwarded, UDP and TCP. Uh, that's your metrics port for uh, Grafana. Um, if you're using ethdocker, please don't change that. It assumes it's on this address. Um, these are your consensus and execution clients, and that's uh, set that way um, to fit with how ethdocker works. And then your log format, you might change. Maybe you want log level debug here at some point if you have issues, right? Okay, save that. And now all we need to do is fd up. All right, great. That will now build Nethermind, um, which was the execution client we chose, and start it. And it will build everything else we need. The blocks SSV we already have, right? And it is starting this. Great, wonderful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the logs, see that everything looks relatively fine. So my consensus client, because I gave it a checkpoint sync, it should actually sync in, in minutes. Um, and that is looking good here. Begin historical sync of blocks, right? So it is already um, caught up. That's great. My execution client will take a minute longer. So you see here it's grabbing old headers. Um, never mind, will take a minute to, to sync. This takes hours, um, potentially days, but I think it can sync early in hours. And now when I look at the SSV node itself, FD logs F SSV node, this will actually currently fail because my uh, execution client here, my nethermind, is not synced, right? So what I expect to see, I was going to say it should fail, it's not. Um, F node is currently syncing, okay, so um, fail-ish, it's not dying, but it can also not actually get any um, any validators assigned to it at this point in time, which is fine, though. This will just start working once it's up and running, uh, once the, the execution client is done. So the next part I'm going to do is I am going to actually register it. So for this, I need the public key, this PK here, again, without the quotes. So that entire thing without quotes, copy. And then I'm going to go to SSV network and say, I'd like to join as an operator. I'd like to register an operator. We're going to give it a display name. Um, SSV demo, sure. And the, oop, only alphanumeric, see, SSV demo, no dash. And the operator public key. Okay, next. This will uh, now need a little bit of girly ETH in my wallet to register it. And what you're going to see here is my throwaway Kintsugi, Kintsugi testnet wallet. And we're going to confirm that. And it will just go do that. Now, while it's doing that, um, I'm going to show you Grafana. So I said I have Grafana. This needs to be configured. And uh, it needs to be secured. Securing Grafana is a topic in and of itself. So I'm going to do that in a separate video, I think. So if I do an IP address show, I can see the IP address of the box. There it is. And um, if I do a quick 
less than my env here, I see I have Grafana shared. So expect that port 3000 is actually open, un um, unencrypted. In the meantime, this node is now up and running, or it has been registered, although it's not fully synced yet. Um, so I should be able to get to HTTP IP address of my box 3000. This is not a good idea, by the way, um, because it is available on the internet unencrypted. So it is going to be uh, email or username admin with password admin. And it will ask me for a new password. So I'm going to just give it a new password. Hit submit. And we're in here. Um, that's all we see. Let's take a quick look at this search dashboards up here. No, we're not going to remember this. Um, and you see I have the blocks SSV operator dashboard. Now this isn't going to show me anything um, because right now it says SSV node v2 one. That's not something that exists in my environment. So what I need to do is go up here into dashboard settings into variables. See this instance variable. Let's edit that. And it's just going to be SSV dash node, just like that. Update. And then this explorer here as well. That's the stage explorer and the actual explorer. We don't want, we do not want the staging uh, explorer that uh, blocks use in their environment. So we're just going to just do the explorer SSV testnet or SSV.network. That's fine. And then save dashboard with the current variables as the dashboard default and say yes and come back to here. I can go edit this as well and see that this is OK um, and that I'm actually seeing something. Sometimes Grafana is a little weird. I need to go in, edit, click this, click away, and then it starts doing this. So let's go through and do that. Honestly, I never figured out why. If somebody wants to teach me, that'd be great. So I'll just go into each dashboard, click the um, definition, click out of the definition, and apply, and I should go see some data. That's good. Apply. Perfect. Um, F1 is syncing. SSV operator is unhealthy. That is expected, right? That's what, exactly what I expect to see right now. Disk usage, memory usage, CPU usage are actually for Kubernetes in this dashboard, and I'm not using Kubernetes, so don't care. Um, and validators, I shouldn't have any right now because um, I'm not yet in a point where, where they can be assigned to me. Um, let's just do this. No data. That's better. And then again, save dashboard with these changes. That's it. Um, at this point, I should now absolutely secure this. Um, very briefly, one of the easier ways of securing this is to place a firewall in front and then just use SSH tunneling. This is described here under cloud security. Um, again, that will be a separate video. Okay, do we have anything left to do? In fact, we do not. This is now done. Uh, you now have a node that is busily syncing um, and can accept validators whenever you are ready. Thank you.